Today, the Arizona House passed the Secure the Border Act, sending it to the November ballot. Danielle Burke North has the latest on what today's vote means for migrants looking for asylum in our country. House Concurrent Resolution 2060 would allow local law enforcement agencies to arrest migrants crossing the border illegally. Today's vote was 31 to 29 in favor of passing the resolution. You know, it's time to vote yes on the bill. Over the span of two hours, 43 members of the Democratic and Republican Party voiced their thoughts following the vote. Some in favor. This is an issue not only for the citizens of Arizona, but sovereignty for the United States of America. And we need this bill and we must act on it. With that, I vote yes. Others in opposition. I have so much more to say about how terrible this bill is and I have no idea who drafted this because they clearly have shown they do not understand immigration law. But with that, I vote no. Local Arizona State Representative Tim Dunn voted in favor of the bill. He says the bill is a border safety bill, not an immigration bill. Arizona is pro-immigrant. We have 15,000 people coming across a day to harvest our crops. So this is not an immigration bill. This is strictly a border security bill. There's nothing in it that allows racial profiling. There's nothing in it that allows that to happen. This is strictly arresting people between the ports of entry. Dunn says it would not allow racial profiling. This is not against our Hispanic Folks, that's what the narrative is going to be. This is about the cartels, those 171 countries that are coming across the border. So we need to help protect all of our citizens and, and, and vote for the bill. However, other groups like Living United for Change in Arizona, known as Lucha, think the bill will do just that. Um, and is a measure that is completely dangerous to our communities, um, will promote racial profiling. Lucha was one of the many groups that gathered outside the state capitol to voice their concerns with this resolution. It will cost millions of dollars to uh, Arizona taxpayers. There's just so much bad language in the bill. Um, and so that's why it's disappointing because we were hoping, hoping for our representatives to be able to strike this down now. <laughs> Um, and now it's going to be in the hands yeah. of the voters. The resolution would also increase the rules of the E-Verify program relating to employment. Arizona voters will have their say on this resolution at the polls this November. Reporting in studio, Danielle Burke-North, News 11.